Next Chapter Podcasts. Hi, listeners. This is Jason Liu, creator of Birds of Empire. I am beyond excited to introduce our new season and dive back into the world of New Dakota. Birds of Empire follows four young people from the clans of New Dakota. The bears, the rams, the birds, and the wolves. Each hero we follow will struggle with their own demons, burdens, and hopes as their battles play out across a sprawling, lush, and brutal landscape unlike any that's come before it. Birds of Empire is a modern folk epic that blends elements of history, fantasy, and myth to tell the story of an incredible world that might one day be. Book one, The Dawn Age, introduced us to the world and the heroes who call it home. Book two, The Seed of White Rock, continues our heroes' journeys as destinies collide, revolution brews, and new alliances are formed. All things return. Follow now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to never miss an episode. Have you ever longed to escape reality or fantasized about stepping into someone else's shoes, even for just a little while? Hi, I'm Laura Mullen. And I'm Chris Tolley. We host CBC's Play Me, the immersive podcast that transforms theater into addictive audio fiction. Join us for a new season and disappear into a world rich with drama, where every show delivers hypnotizing stories and unveils intriguing characters with secrets. Play me wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, Play On Podcast listeners, this is Michael Goodfriend, head of scripted fiction at Next Chapter Podcasts. If you like what you've been hearing, you're probably a fan of great writing and epic storytelling. That's why I want to share a grand adventure with you today. From our friends at Q Code, this is episode one of Birds of Empire. It's a fantasy set in 15,000 CE, thousands of years after the fall of civilization. The Earth has reclaimed the cities and glories of the modern world and reduced humankind to prehistoric tribal life. In this episode, you'll meet Azera, a tribal butcher and daughter of the queen who knows she's destined for more. You'll love the amazing sound design, writing, and performances you're about to hear. And I'm glad to introduce you to this terrific series. Enjoy! Birds of Empire is presented by HelloFresh. Use code BIRDSFREE for free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash birdsfree. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Hello, listeners. Be advised that this show is an immersive audio experience. It may seem like sounds are coming from the sides or behind you. Listener discretion is advised, as this content is intended for adult audiences only. For more details, see the episode description. Q-Code presents Birds of Empire Season 2. Created by Jason Liu. Birth is but the promise of death. So goes an ancient proverb of the wolves, people of the grass. There were many times the words would wash over Azira. Once, while soaked in blood, lids heavy as she knelt, asking her sister to possess her blade. To her enemies, she would become the demon of White Rock. To her people, she would become much more. But now, a child of the plains, spear in hand, the thrill of a night hunt, a wish, a nightmare, a dream, all in a single moment. The new children of gods must make their way against the winds of fate with no shelter. For they are the shelter. Upright against the storm they must walk. So too must you, young one, if you are to keep the flame from blowing out. Listen to me. Listen to me. I am telling you of the birds of empire. Azera, wait! Where are we? What's our plan? Who has time for a plan, Yaffa? Keep up! Slow down! 
did the gods wait for a plan when they broke the stars apart, spread them across the sky? They're hardly the gods. Or the gods are hardly us. I can feel the herd surging. The beasts are angry, driven. The ground is moving in a way I've never felt. And, and it's... I think we should go back. Go back? You mad? We're here now where we've wanted to be. Where you've wanted to be. Don't you want what I want, always and ever? How do I let her talk me into every mad idea that comes across There! Me? That ridge up ahead is perfect to watch them move. I can tell you what I see, and then we plan our strike. Our strike? You never said we were actually joining the hunt. What? You thought we were coming just to sit by and let those bitches get the glory? I haven't exactly had time to consider how insane your plan was going to be. Well, now you have, and now you know. We spear the Alpha and bring her head back on a pike so Mother will finally see my place among our people. Finally give me my respect. You already have her respect, Azzy. Disobeying her direct orders is likely to only anger her, and you I don't know- care! I don't care if she's angry or, or what she feels. I'm sick of caring about minding her more than living my life. And beside, what more can she do? How could she humiliate me more than she already has? The beasts, their shifting step, it feels like they're readying something. It's strange, almost like music in time with You're right. I can smell a change in the air. What are they up to? God, it looks like they're flanking around the packs. I've... I didn't think they could... That smell. What is it? Something... I recognize it from other pack animals. How they signal each other with smell, Sister, but... Sister, something bad is happening. I can feel it through the earth. Tell me what you see. They're... retreating. It looks like. Our, our hunters are scattering. No, no, no. What? Kaya is splitting the pack to run down the stragglers, the calves. It's a trap! We have to warn them. That smell! Do you think you can track it to the Alpha? Maybe, but she'll be heavily guarded in a wash in a sea of other scents. God. What's happening? What's happening? There's more. She's calling in the rest of the herd to spring the trap. The rest? That's what I was smelling. It's two herds. One must have been lying in wait. Our hunters will never survive. Unless we do something. Hunters! On me! Have them running scared! Fall in line, bitches! I don't know what's happening. I mean, it's like they wanted us to follow them. They're just meat and fur to the slaughter, Kaya. Steady your spear, and let's tear them apart. Okay. Okay. Hunters! Form up! Watch your place! Eyes peeled for the Alpha, and if we take her down, the rest will scatter. They look thin and weak. What is that sound? It sounds like more than we thought. Reza, we don't have the spears. You called for a retreat. I'll run you down myself. Let them! Reza, do you want us all to be fucking killed? A death in glory is better than a life in cowardice. Scouts aired. There's three times as many, and now another herd. We won't survive if we stand against them. Then to the wind world, sister. Hunters will not survive unless we stick together. Form up on me, and we can break their ranks. Retreat and live to hunt another day. Reza, you're flipped! Oh! Hang on! My leg! Just go! Get back to safety! No! We fight! Reza, don't be stupid! The gore you won't leave me! Kaya! No! Go, or I'll cut you myself! You will die. I will. But they can't. Not because of me. Kaya, I have my bow, and I will die with Go now, or I'll put this arrow through your throat. safe passage as I enter the wind world. My blood is yours. My life was but a fang in your mouth. And Kaya, 
May you greet me upon the threshold, that I might look upon your face once more. I will not fall without a fight. So come and take it! Let me worry about them. Ready? Two, three, mount! Where's Reza and the rest of the pack? They went north to break the line. It's a trap. We have to get them to the western flank where it's thin. We and have a plan. Why do you smell like shit? Because we're covered. The Alpha is using smell to track us down and guide the herd. This keeps us invisible to her. Yaffa, which way are they moving? West. I can still use my bow. Good. We have to kill the Alpha, or they'll overwhelm us. If she can't command them, they'll be easier to pick off. Sister, they're coming. Ah! Where is she? The Alpha. I have to find her. Here, take your reins. Where are you? Where are you? Reza and the Pax are there. Sister, we do not have much time. I can feel the second wave coming. I need to focus. me where where there I found her yes yes now what she's close we need the packs of focus and follow close cut a path to her Reza Reza Listen to her. We don't have much time. Oh, don't listen to this bitch. Reza, listen to her or we'll all die. I know where the Alpha is, but she's retreating further behind the guards to the thickest part of the herd. How do you know? Because I'm a fucking hunter. We're gathering for a surge that we won't survive. Speak for yourself. Reza, I know you hate me, but I'm right. I need you to trust me. Trust her. We can fight later. I won't die listening you to her. stubborn cow! I am still pack leader. You will listen to me, and I'm ordering you to form up and follow Azera. Broken leg or not, I'll tear your tongue from your mouth. They're ready. We have to attack. Pack! Kaya has returned! Form up on Azera! Protect her and Yaffa at all costs! Go, Azera. We'll protect you. Thank you. Brother, I need you to lead. You'll be better at sensing their movements. Form as the geese do in front of us. Today, if I wake in the wind world, let it be next to my sisters, bathed in the blood of my enemies. Kaya will have one shot to slay the Alpha, so guard her with your lives. Sister, we have to push. Daughters of Death, hunt! Where's your flank? There. She's there. The Alpha! Kaya, ready your bow? Brother, how much time do we have? Done. Ready this shot! Hold the line! Hold the fucking line! She's there! Kaya, take your shot! Ready. They're closing in! Do it! Now! Kaya, now! to glory. They're our pack now. Yeah, yeah. Here, Kaya, take this mount. <sighs> Tonight, you eat with us. Your pack, Azera, hunter of White Fang. I'll see you there. Kaya, come on.
Hi, listeners. It's Jason Liu, creator of Birds of Empire. I hope you've enjoyed the show so far, and thank you to our sponsors, HelloFresh. This season of the show definitely kept me busy for a long, long time. And like many people, I don't always have the time or energy to find a new recipe, go to the grocery store, make a huge mess in the kitchen, and then finally sit down for a meal. Luckily, our friends at HelloFresh hooked me up. Each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients. Everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep for less hassle and less wasted food, which is really important. The kits are easy to follow, quick to make, and super flavorful. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every week. More importantly, they cut out stressful meal planning, grocery store trips, so you can just enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in less time. This week, I'm looking forward to my roasted veggie kale salad with chicken. I'll be saving time without compromising on flavor and quality. And who doesn't love that? Mouth-watering. Yes, please. So before you finish the season of Birds of Empire, be sure to check out HelloFresh and make saving time your breeziest resolution for the new year with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to your door. Just choose your meals, select your delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and shopping, so all you have to do is open your weekly box of pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step recipes and just get cooking. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BirdsFree and use code BirdsFree, B-I-R-D-S-F-R-E-E, for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash BirdsFree with code BirdsFree. Thank you, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Marty Bloodwolf. I thank you for keeping me upon your plane this night, cloaking me in your glory that I might bring some to my people and and letting me hunt. I thought I was the only one who spoke to the Great Mother that way. Kaya! Stay near. I came to pray with you. Here. Let me mark you with the blood of the Alpha. Let's pray. Mighty Blood Wolf, Mother, Killer, Guide, we give thanks to you and honor one of your children who walks with you in the Wind World, Gaia. Why are you invoking my sister? There's there's things you don't know about us. What do you mean? I I felt things for Gaia. Reza and I, we made like we hated her and you, but truly we were jealous. She saved me, actually. From what? Myself. (laughs) Who's there? You have the blade in the wrong place. Your heart's on the other side of your chest, Kaya. Leave me alone. You sure that's what you want? Zula, hush. We have a soul who wishes to leave us for the wind world. By your own hand, no less. If you come to humiliate me again, opening up my face in the fight pit wasn't enough. There's no shame in a loss. It's a girl who never loses. I fight because it's what they have us do. I win because... I win because... (laughs) Because you're not weak. I'm nothing. I'm just fish to an eagle, dirt to a worm. The fight wolf looks away each time she addresses me, kicking my feet out like a goat before the altar, like a... It's better I send myself to the wind world rather than bear the slow death of shame in the eyes of the elders. You're very much alive in my eyes, Kaya. And Reza's. She hangs on your every word. Moves like your shadow. Reza has the eyes of a feral cub. A soul like the picked bones of a buzzard. She loves you. She believes I'll be queen one day. Convinced of it since we were pack sisters. Well, because I saved her from a wild dog when we were girls. She tells that story like you're a hero. I am sick of hearing it. Give me the blade. You were aiming at a lung, you know? Not your heart. It would have been painful and slow. Like a water death. How do you know? 
Mother makes Zara trail the butchers. Afterward, she tells me of her studies. Where organs are, what they do. We're not animals, Gaia. The butchers cut open our people when illness or possession takes them. What? Why? The shamans extract the evil for elixirs, healing, battle oils. And Zara watches all this? Mother bids her do it. I don't know why. She has her heart set on hunting, not butchering. For twins, you can be less alike. The sun is only the moon aflame. She hates me. And Reza. You do much to earn it. If I lose tomorrow, they'll carve the mark of the crow into my forehead. I'll be shamed for life, lucky to sharpen the blades of my betters. I think the mark would suit you. It's not a joke, Gaia. The only way to rid the shame of the mark is to survive a blood tournament. And we know I'd never be able to. No one is carving the mark of the crow onto your face, Kaya. Because I'll die before I live in exile. I wouldn't let them ruin a face like that. Kaya, I... Oh, <sighs> my left side is feeling sore. What do you mean? <sighs> During our match, I might favor my right. I might be weaker, less focused. I might swing wildly, leaving my flanks unguarded. Gaia. I may even lose grip on my spear. I don't need you to help me out of pity. I never said you did. I'm just telling you how I feel. How you feel? Zula! Calm! Your horse thinks me a coward. Lately, she's spooked by frog tree branches, the strangest thing. She all but bucked me off when we came upon a pile of them the other day. The Tree of the Dead. Your blade. Still off to the wind world, then? Why are you doing this? We're so cruel to Azzy. Is this some trick to adventure? Set me up to think I can best you, only to make my fall more brutal. Reza isn't the only one who thinks you're meant for great things. Everyone knows you'll be Queen Gaia. Your mother favors you. The pack already follows your every word. I don't want to be queen. I've seen what it's done to my mother. How she must be ruthless, always, only to prove her worth. Why are you doing this? Showing me this kindness. A foe made friend is like a death undone. A death undone. And I like your face. Oh. Who's there? If someone is there, show yourself! Or face a blade! What was it? Maybe an elk. A familiar smell. Zula, calm! You should go. I, as he will be looking for me, wanting to spar. All that girl wants to do is fight. Perhaps she'll be Fang of the Queen one day. <laughs> Watch my left tomorrow in the pit. If you're still among us to fight. Gaia? Thank you. Don't thank me yet. You still have to beat me, Gaia. So, what? You loved her. No, it wasn't. It was only the beginning of something, but the next day after our fight, she was gone. Thrown from her horse as she rode across the plains. Reza said her horse Zula wasn't right, that she was spooked by something. I wasn't there, but that's what she said to me, too. They were out on a scout and an accident. A flick of the god's fingers and she was no more. Why are you dragging this up from the bog, Kaya? You, you what? You want to make sure that my moment of peace and victory is marred by my greatest sadness? No. Wait, is this some fucking trick? Who's out there? Are Reza and the rest of the pack watching? What? No. I should have never trusted you. Only yesterday you were trying to humiliate me in front of our people, and now what? Azzy! Don't touch me! What's wrong with you? I'm trying to be kind to you. Oh, trying. As if to be kind to me is some effort of the gods. To be nice to little Azzy, the butcher who everyone hates. Fine. You know what? You're right. Everyone does hate you, and you know why? Because you're arrogant and you push and push at everyone who comes near you. I don't need your help, and I should have left you to die. I wish you had. Reza would have come back for me. We didn't need you. We never did. But sure. That wasn't what it looked like, bitch. Can you just shut up for once, Azera? 
You and Reza are up to something. You always have been. And God's help our people if you end up queen. You're gonna be alone and angry your whole life, Azzy. Just because you wanted to fuck my sister, you think that gives you the right to talk to me like you know me? Like you know what I want? You don't know what you want. I want you in the dirt. Now is your chance then, bitch! <laughs> this is how I feel every day. Like everyone is choking the life out of me day by day. How do you like it, Kaya? I'm gonna end you, bitch! You'll have to go through me. You missed Yaffa. I guess that's not a surprise. If I missed, you'd be dead. <laughs> Aren't you two a pair? A cripple and a girl who can't see past her own fucking nose. Worse to be crippled by rage, jealousy. Worse to be crippled by cowardice. To be one thing to one person and another to another. Talking out of both sides of your face like the god of deceit. Sister, let's leave. We'll ride back on our own. Oh, what is this? A fight I wasn't invited to? I wouldn't invite you anywhere, Reza. <laughs> Sharp tongue, no eyes, and a death wish. Careful, boy. We should have left you all to die. Kaya, the pack is waiting to soak you in the blood of the kill. Leave. The Butcher. Just wait until the tribe hears The tribe us. will hear what we tell them, and we will tell them the hunt was a success, was it not, Kaya? Aye. Uh, success fit for the gods. Shame will take your throat, Kaya, one day. Not before I take yours, Butcher Girl. You invite your own end, Reza. Your mother is weak, and Kaya will soon wear the blood crown. I know it burns you inside to think of it, but it burns you because you know it's true. Reza, enough! Azera Yaffa, ride back with us. We'll set aside our anger and tell the queen you did your share. No more, no less. As they soak you in the blood of our kill, remember that it should be yours that waters the earth. Best sharpen your blade, butcher. Much work for you lay ahead. My blade is ever sharp for all that lay ahead. Wolves on me! Are you all right, brother? We are not safe, sister, and may never again be. For some time now. Come. Tonight, we sleep with an eye to the gods. What do you think Mother will say? She'll be angry we disobeyed her. But at least she'll know I'm meant for more than the butcher's slab. Much more. Kaya said something strange about Gaia and her dad. What did she say? I can't tell what may be lies or the truth, but... She confessed she loved her, and that Gaia threw a fight to protect her in the blood death. Loved her? I thought they hated each other. I did too. What does this have to do with her death? I don't know, but I mean to find out. Those two are making a move for Mother's Crown somehow. <laughs> what, a blood tournament? They'd be mad to call one. Even though her humors are unbalanced, Mother could slice those cows with her eyes closed. Perhaps. Her coughing and fits are getting worse. She approaches. I'll make sure to tell her it was my idea. I don't think she'll need much convincing. Nothing will happen to you, brother. Much will. And only gods know the nature of it. Do you ever just answer normally? You still smell like shit, you know? Well, you think I can smell all of a sudden? <laughs> the queen approaches! Blood keep the queen! Blood keep the queen! Hunters! Blades away! The queen approaches! My queen! We pay tribute with our offerings. The hunt was fruitful. The Alpha is dead. Our people will no longer Why starve. are the prisoners riding free? Prisoners, my queen? Azera and Yaffa. You mean your children? Invaders. Breakers of pack law. Or as pack leader, do you not know the laws of the hunt? Y yes, but... We didn't know they were there until... Until what? Until they almost got us all killed. We tried to stop them, but... but uh, Answer the queen. But they got in the way, and we took mercy on them. How were you hurt? You let the beasts take your blood. I saved her, my queen. She availed herself a leader. By allowing a butcher and a keeper to tag along on a sacred hunt. My queen, we... You'll be dealt with. Later. Zen, come with me. Ready the bindings. Yes, my queen. 
Then, seize her, Mother, the what, boy too. Is this some joke, some lesson? The time for lessons have passed, Azera. My queen, what, what is this? A reckoning. Mother, I'm sorry, I just, we helped the pack. Find them both. This is madness, I, I, I know I disobeyed, but just look at what happened. We did it, I am a hunter. You are a prisoner and a disgrace. A disobedient little girl. Mother, you're too hard on her. She saved the whole pack from destruction. She is the only reason they live. Save your stories, boy. It's true, my queen. It's true that you allowed a butcher and a blind boy to save you from a pack of wild beasts. Beasts who you have dedicated your life to besting. It's not true. Reza? Enough. Get off your mounds and kneel before me. Now. All of you. <clears throat> Do you think me weak? Do you think my orders are mere wishes? I am the queen of the wolves, the terror in the forever night of this blood-soaked land, and to disobey an order from me is to disobey the gods themselves. Mother, I only wanted to help, to make you see what I can be, what I am. I am not your mother, nor am I your queen. Mother, what are you doing? Take her to the binding post. Heat the iron. I'll carve the mark of the crow into her forehead. Mother, no! Please, it's me. It, it, it's us. We only wanted to help. You're not to follow us, boy. I order you exile. Mother! But, mother! You fended for yourself once. If you could do it again for one month, you could return to our people. Are you this heartless? This bent on showing your power and for what? Everyone already fears you. What more do you have to prove? That to disobey me is to sink into the dark. To lose everything. Even if... Even if it's all you have in this world. Do what you must. Take him to the edge of the green expanse and see that he has nothing. As an exile from this tribe is owed nothing. Leave him out of it. It's me who you should punish. I pulled He is him not into a child and so he will not be punished as one. And nor will you. You heartless bitch! Take the boy. Now. Azera! Yappa! Azera! Stay alive. Just live. Get her to the ground, and if she moves again, slit her throat. Yappa! Yappa! Brother! Wolves! Let him go! Hunters! Much disgrace has marred your glory. Never forgive that. For if you do, you will forgive too much. You think you can hurt me any more than you have? You're wrong. Just end me here and now. Let me be with Gaia and away from you, you old hag! Do it! You don't deserve to be there with her. You never deserve to be anywhere with her. Take her to the post and get these corpses to the butchers. We have one less now. Ah! Unbind me and let me fight you to the death, you fucking bitch! Knock her out. Fucking bitch! <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hi, I'm Jason Liu, creator of Birds of Empire. And with the holidays here, for a lot of folks, that means giving, whether that's gifts, experiences, donations. Personally, my family values just spending time together and taking care of each other. That also means taking care of yourself. For me personally, therapy has really helped me with that in my life. Therapy has helped me make peace with my past and helped me cope with my present and also prepare for my future and really be the best version of myself for my family. And, you know, if you're thinking of starting therapy, you might want to give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online, super convenient, flexible. You just fill out this brief questionnaire and you get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch anytime for no additional charge. It's really cool. In the season of giving, Give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash BOE today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash B-O-E. Find me, Marlon. Find me. Mother, mother, come back to me. How am I to lead them? To lead anyone? Show me the path. Uh, 
Young Marlin, uh, you've been here at the bluffs for hours now. Should... Should we walk back to the peak? Sit with me, Hephaestus. Oh. Okay. I... know nothing of the world below. The lowlands, yes, but b beyond that? Have you never longed to see the world beyond? Like Orin, the ogre. Like Orin. <laughs> My mother used to tell me that tale. It's a favorite of the lowlanders. Do you believe it? That, that there's a lake with no shores out there beyond the horizon? I do. But I'm a superstitious old goat. I believe that the world is wild and great beyond our imagining. I want to believe that too. What... What stops you, young master? <sighs> My whole life... I felt that there was some unseen force holding me back, like... Not... not just holding my arms down, but my very spirit. I would picture it as a serpent with iron eyes, its body wrapping around mine, constricting, squeezing the life out of me. It sounds like the lowland legend of the Serpent King, who ruled with an amber tongue, draining the life from whole tribes. My mother used to speak of the Serpent King in her moments of desperation. I thought it was an invention of her illness. It was a tale in the old tongue, meant to scare our children into behaving. And is that what you were meant to do, Hephaestus? Or you my Serpent King? Young Master, what do you mean? I know that my father sent you to spy on me. To gain my trust. Wait, wait now. To pretend to care for me. I did no such pretending. Oh? I do so care for you. That was never a lie. But, but you care for riches more. You care for my father's favor. I care for food and shelter. And that's what he offered me when word reached him that you'd taken a shine to my idiot tales. And, and he asked that that I get closer to you and tell him of your mind. My mind? And to keep an eye on you, that you might not dream to do things. Things that... You'd say it. Things that you could not do. He offered me a bit of extra bread and rations and use of a stable for shelter. For that, I betrayed you, boy. I can't imagine a life where those things are out of reach. And you can't imagine most lives below, young sire. <sighs> I'm not angry. My father has a way of pushing those around him like gang pieces, on carrying of the cars, replacing them as they go. Once, when I was a child, he watched as a group of children slandered and struck me mercilessly. Barlin, the cripple king of the peak! They tied me to a horn tree and made me a crown of branches, and he didn't stop them. It was only when my mother came upon me, still bound, that he bade them release me. Such cruelties leave marks upon the heart. That they do. I hate him. I've always hated him. And now, I'm done fearing him. Boy. Festin, I think, perhaps, I have not been living as I ought. I think it's impossible to know how one should live. Or, if at all. Hey. I was going to end my life, my suffering, back there in the Great Hollow. But a vision came to me of my mother. Our people think much of visions in the lowlands. That they come from the old gods, the outlawed spirits of ancient days lost. I could feel her face up against mine, like when I was a boy. She lifted my chin, and in the vision, my arms moved freely and embraced her. I held her so tight, like, like I might never let go. It, it felt so real. Something that... I'll never feel. What did she say? 
born in the light to lead them all. Lead them all? And then she drew close and faintly whispered, Find me, son. Find me? Forgive me, young master, but isn't she... Dead? Long so, according to what I've been told, but... You think she still lives? I, I don't know anymore. Perhaps there's some other meaning to it. Find something she left behind, or find who she truly was? Do you suspect she wasn't as you thought? <sighs> My memories of her are like, like fish from different streams. She had terrors, tremors. Father told us she had grown mad, but as she appeared to me, it was like, like she was as she always should have been. I, I can't quite explain it, or if it was even real. Perhaps, perhaps I have her madness in my blood after all, and it grips me here on this rock, overlooking a sea of tangled life. You sound clear of mind to me, boy. But I'm fucking crazy, so... <laughs> I have a feeling my father's hiding something. Something about my mother and who she was, I intend to find the truth, even if it should kill me. You think he would kill you? He tried when I was young, but mother always stopped him, and then my friend grew to this ogre that you see before you, and I suppose he thought it too much the effort. I will protect you, boy. Let me be your arms and hands and fingers and elbows. The joints that move you toward the knowledge you seek. And I'm to trust you? <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing with that blade? Opening my hand for a blood oath. No, 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 you don't have to. <laughs> By this blade, and the old gods, and as my blood drips to the earth, I swear to you, Barlin of Helena, that my last breath to you will be a loyal one. That this broken body and simple mind will serve you. You don't owe me blood. I do. I betrayed you. It's haunted me each night I passed in that flea-infested stable, each crust of bread choking, fearing that you'd discover my treachery. It's not as if you slit my throat. Your father is worried about how you might interfere with his affairs. So what? He was to have you kill me? Finish what he tried to do when I was a helpless child? He asked me if I would do whatever it took to prove my loyalty to him. He's been long obsessed with loyalty. Now he grows paranoid. Once I came upon him ranting about something to a noble, saying in harsh tones, the Seed is not safe here. They'll come to finish what she started. The Seed? My father has never tended so much as a leaf. Are you sure he said the Seed? Aye. It was as clear as dawn. In the lowlands, we call a child a Seed. Perhaps. Was... was my mother with child? I wish I knew more. But he glanced my way, and I was worried he'd strike me down for even being so near. I bolted. What does it mean? You have quite the family, young master. Aye. And I believe it's time I know the truth about them. I need to know who she was, and I owe it to my mother to find the truth about her and what became of her. And I'll be there, boy. I fear I'll make enemies. Then you'll need friends. And I have one in you? You have one in me. Then come. Off to the Stone Palace to find my mother. Whatever that may mean. Whatever the cost. I have questions and no longer fear the answers. Birds of Empire stars B as Azera and Jorge Diaz as Barlin Midstone, Gwendolyn Briley Strand as The Keeper, Andrew Liner as Yafa, Heidi Kwan as Kaya, Meg DeLacy as Reza, Michelle Psi Bonilla as Nara, Jake Hart as Hephaestion, 
with additional performances by Carolina Hoyos, Mashari Bain. Written and directed by Jason Liu. Executive produced by Jason Liu, Rob Herding, David Henning, and Shin Yin Hiu. Co-executive producers B and Jorge Diaz. Producers Kyle Smithers and Lawrence Zanelli. Co-producer Nick Shanks. Original score and composition by Darren Johnson and Matthew Carcenti. Music editor and additional music Ben Milchev. Audio engineering by Gabe Birch, Ben Milchev, and Sarah Ma. Assistant engineer Alex Chalk. Edited by Neely Oftering. Additional editor Sarah Ma. Supervising sound effects editor and sound designer Randy Torres. Mixed by Ben Milchev. Additional mixer Sarah Ma. Casting director Chrissy Fiorilli. Script supervisor J.C. Hines. Production coordinator Brian Coulter. Production assistant Alex Buda. Production legal Christina Bulbrook and Lindsay Keel. Production accounting Pin Chen Liu. Special thanks to Mara Schuster Lefkowitz and Ashton Harold. This podcast was recorded under a SAG after a collective bargaining agreement. Birds of Empire is a Q Code production. Sound recording copyright 2023 by Q Code Media Inc. Birds of Empire is presented by HelloFresh. Use code BIRDSFREE for free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash birdsfree. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Next Chapter Podcasts.